Good afternoon, friends. It is Wednesday, June the 24th, and uh, here's today's daily devotion. Scripture reading comes out of the last book in the New Testament, Revelation, chapter 1, verses 4 through 7. John, to the seven churches that are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and freed us from our sins by his blood, and made us to be a kingdom, priests serving his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds. Every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and on the, the account of all tribes of the earth, and on the, his account, all the tribes of the earth will wail. So it is to be. Amen. So this uh, devotion from our daily bread is called Debt Eraser. It's written by Arthur Jackson. Stunned is just one word that describes the response of the crowd at the 2019 graduation ceremony at Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. The commencement speaker announced that he and his family would be donating millions of dollars to erase the student debt of the entire graduating class. One student with $100,000 in loans was among the overwhelmed graduates who expressed their joys with tears and shouts. Most of us have experienced indebtedness in some form, having to pay for homes or vehicles or education, medical expenses or other things. But we've also known the amazing relief of a bill being stamped paid. After declaring Jesus as the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, John worshipfully acknowledged his debt-erasing work. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. The statement is simple, but its meaning is profound. Better than the surprise announcement the Morehouse graduating class heard is the good news that the death of Jesus, the shedding of his blood on the cross, frees us from the penalty that our sinful attitudes, desires, and deeds deserve. Because that debt has been satisfied, those who believe in Jesus are forgiven and become a part of God's kingdom family. This good news is the best news of all. How does one begin to fully understand the great price that Christ paid on the cross for each and every one of us. You know, I heard it once said, uh, I think it was one of my seminary professors, I'm not certain, but I remember it once said that uh, some theologians believe that the agony that Jesus suffered on the cross was him actually experiencing the pain of every sin that he paid for with his death. Now that, when you consider the all of the people who've sinned, all of those who've claimed Christ as their Savior, um, that's an overwhelming thought. A uh, thought probably none of us could truly get our minds around. So how do we express that? Not just in our own lives, but how do we express that to the world? How does that how do we help people to understand just how much Christ is given for them, for each and every one of them? And we start with ourselves, but then move beyond. Thought for the day. Hope you're all doing well. Take care and God bless. Bye now.